sadly, we have lost the star fruit seed. The one star fruit seed that we have that Dad So Davy07 gave to us, we have lost. And it wasn't my fault. It wasn't another person's fault. It was Skyblock's fault. As you know, the star fruit seeds are really buggy in this game. And I don't know, but just like, yes, this happened yesterday. Uh, I don't know how to say this. I'm still mad at this. I was trying to get double the seeds, like two star fruit seeds. I planted down my first seeds and then I harvest them. It kept it kept going well. I got the fruit back and I got the seed seed back. And then eventually I planted the seed. And then I have harvested the plant. And I didn't get the seed back. The seed just disappeared and I never got the seed back oh let me get the, okay i never got the seed back it's sad i know it's sad it's annoying but just like i'm still kind of mad and annoyed that skyball haven't fixed that yet i just lost a super rare seed because of skyball well that's not what we're going to talk about today's video in today's video uh we are going to talk about why the aquamarine sword is not worth the grind so let's get straight into this video as you guys know there is something called the aquamarine sword right here and there's something called the gilded steel hammer and if you already have the gilded steel hammer please do not try and go for this sword because it is not worth the grind and if you don't have the aquamarine sword or the gilded steel hammer yet okay you're ruining my shot just do not go for the aquamarine sword i know i know it's a new sword it's a new weapon but the gilded steel hammer is still better in damage that's why that's what i'm going to show you right now I'm going to cut. I'm going to teleport to the Buffalo Core Island in 3, 2, 1. Alright, here we are at the Buffalo Core Island. So, right now, we are going to test which, which weapon is better. So, as you can see, we have the Aquamarine Sword right here. We're going to see how many hits to take does it take to kill a Buffalo Core. Alright, ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22! If you're on 20 to 22, because last time I did this, it was at 20. And now, the Gilded Steel Hammer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's around 12 to 14 on the Gilded Steel Hammer. That is why the Aquamarine Sword is not worth it. It might be the newer sword. It might be the trend right now. But it's not that good as a Gilded Steel Hammer. And I know, I think I probably know why. In the, for the aquamarine sword you will need 200 aquamarine shards and two pearls for the gilded steel hammer you will need one buffalo core crystal five gilded steel rods and 40 gold if you didn't know that is a uh, 140 gold in total to make the gilded steel hammer plus comparing the gilded steel hammer to the aquamarine sword the aquamarine sword basically you don't need anything rare to craft it and that's why it does less damage but to craft the gilded seal hammer you will need buffo core crystal that is a rare item and gold which is also more rare to get than aquamarine shards so that's why the aquamarine sword is not worth the grind hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time peace out